today we are going to talk about seal study it is one of the most important safety study for any process industry it is defined as safety integrity level which is relative level of risk reduction provided by a safety function or a target level of risk reduction now in any process industry it is exposed to risk fire explosion injuries and accident which causes fatalities environmental losses financial losses and safety integrity level study is one of the way to take care of such risk it is one of the most important layer of protection against accidents and hazards in seal study generally are carried out in three steps one is seal identification study another is seal verification study and then seal validation study why there is a need for seal study now this is one of the example iocl jaipur depot which are, which has got fired in 2009 where 12 people died and 11 tanks two tankers containing 8 million liter of oil got burned and seal study is one of the way to take care of such incidents why there is a need of seal study because of the risk involved what are the risk loss of life environmental impact loss of production loss of capital another need for seal study the driving forces which are increased regulatory consideration more and more awareness of the environment maintaining the company image and more and more emergence of safety standards there are various layers of protection provided in any process industry so if you see the lower most first layer which is basic process control system layer which is nothing but our dcs and plc system another is the process shutdown which is again taken care by our dcs and plc system the third layer is called as emergency shutdown layer here the steel study is carried out now the safety life cycle which consists of five steps step 1 is safety assessment safety system functional requirement design and verification installation and validation maintenance and improvement now seal study which consists of three stages stage 1 seal identification study and stage 2 which is seal verification study comes under st- step 3 which is safety system design and verification and seal validation comes under step 4 which is safety system installation and validation the team which is involved in carrying out this seal study are process specialist process control engineer or instrumentation engineer operation management safety specialist person who has practical experience of operating the process under consideration so inputs from all these people are expected while carrying out seal identification study now when we say seal study it involves various critical process loops and each process loop consists of a sensor logic solver and final element and seal rating is provided for a each critical loop now as per iec there are four level of seal which is from 1 to 4 and 1 is the lowest 4 is the highest and when we provide seal one rating to any critical loop the target level of reduction is 10 to 100 times when we provide seal 2 it is 100 to 1000 times we are reducing the risk and so on now as per this iec standards there are six methods for carrying out seal identification study and out of this six method the serial number 4 which is calibrated risk graph method and layers of protection analysis which is the sixth number these two methods are quantitative methods and very popular for carrying out seal identification study in any industry now in tc we have in house developed a program using calibrated risk graph method as per iec 61508 and 61511 in this calibrated risk graph method we determine three types of seal which is safety seal financial seal and environmental seal now for determining safety seal this is the matrix which is used in which there are four parameters we can see one is c which is consequence risk parameter f which is frequency and exposure time risk parameter 
P, which is probability of failing to avoid hazard risk parameter and W, probability of the unwanted occurrence. And in the right hand side columns, we can see sill levels indicated. So depending upon the inputs provided for each loop, we decide what are the consequences, what is the frequency, what is the possibility and what is the probability. And based using this matrix, we determine what is the sill level for each loop. Similarly, we determine financial sale for that loop. It consists of LA, LB, LC and LD which are level of financial losses. Next is environmental sale. So using this matrix, we determine the environmental sale for the each loop. So for each loop, we determine safety sale, financial sale and environmental sale. And the sale rating which is highest among the three for that loop is considered for that loop. These are the various safety codes and standards applicable for sales studies. So IEC 61508 is an umbrella standard applicable for OEMs and users and manufacturers in the industry. And there are various standards which are applicable for each type of industry which is shown below. Thank you very much.